Tim's going to go to the offlane with some wards. Lich does the same down bottom, as and we'll see the first couple of wards coming out. They block. They get the double block on this pull cam. So, I mean, you mentioned Tim's really wanting to mess with the offlane with the bat. This warding setup does suggest yeah. that when you block this pull cam. <sighs> Good point, Parker. So, they're leaving the medium cam so that the bat can maybe use it later. So, I think overall that's very likely their game plan. Oh, Tim's. Spotted in the mid lane, I believe. Let's see yep. how IG. So the Lich is set up here. Conkers. I think that it is going to be a door off lane. Lich plus two. At least. Well, I mean, you mentioned he's going to deny the mid creep, so he may, w w after denying the mid creep, could go anywhere. If he does, he actually is headed slightly towards bottom, so could see that. Yeah, I think I think the Weaver is going to just be alone. Conker will be like Conker maybe right. there, maybe not. You know. Maybe try to pull one wave and... But he, I, I, I think he's going to focus on the other lanes more. It and is a lane where, if, like you mentioned, Weaver has can threaten the bat. If you hit a torrent with the Weaver beetles, you can actually kill that bat very easily. But bat is going safe lane, interestingly enough. It's going to be an aggro Oh, he got the bounty rune. Yeah. Bat gets the bounty rune and... Kind of no, I mean the bounty stole the rune. Oh, bounty stole the rune. He got the, uh, oh, the mid one, yeah. Well, in July, July he might be in trouble. He's not choosing to use his uh, Scorch Earth. Get, that's yeah. getting Scorch Earth is yeah. a big problem here. He doesn't want to do that, but no. not the biggest deal because you have the Lich on the lane. So he's going to be able to pull. It's going to be like annoying if you are alone in the lane when you do this. But because Lich is here, then he's... So he didn't choose to eat the, uh, deny the middle creep. He chose to use it on the bottom lane. So they're going to primarily focus on helping the Doom. Weaver's TP bottom though. They have... Uh not about these lanes in july will tp up top but now he's going to be in that top lane with scorched earth he really wants to have devouring pick up a neutral creep as early as possible but yeah they want the lich to be up against the pr i mean the doom lich to be up against the pl and the weaver against the bat rider that's and the, i do set up the other big problem with top lane is they can't use the pull camp now you're against an aggro lane you often want to go for pulls but that is not available very concerning perhaps <laughs> Kim's is still waiting for the career DK already has his salve though, so not really any items he's going to be bringing out until he finishes his bottle, I imagine, at this yeah, point. He's actually having a hard time here in the first few waves. Look at the CS discrepancy, yep. and he has still more creeps than the Timber on the lane, so Timber is going to be able to pull ahead even more. Not doing too well right now. Um, Another Sentry uh, Ward coming out from Super, that one not finding anything, so definitely some concerns there. Tim's is made spotted by this Sentry. Just gonna do some harass here. Uh, top lane, Doom is also taking a, a huge beating here in the laning phase. Not doing too well. As we, we talked about TNC winning yep. two of the lanes in the lane. And lane, RGB and it feels is like, gonna win the Lich lane. <laughs> but even right now, it feels like that lane's going fine for Bat, so it doesn't even feel yeah, like Yeah, because they were TPing around moving lanes, yeah. so I think eventually they're gonna win this lane. Because you're gonna like keep denying and gaining the level advantage but uh, the other two lanes are gonna be not doing so well as i expected yep. seeing that here for sure bounty just freed up to oh. move around pick up bounty rune trying to kill the mid lane now uh, t is smoked up on his oh. silencer very early rotation an unexpected one at that bounty is Gonna might get be able to venom. kill. He might to... be able to kill because of the uh, bounty and the if double can... death. Bounty's just about to hit level two. He really wants to get like one creep. They're gonna start going in. Tim's has got boots, so they should be able to chase oh, him. Oh, he has all the venom on the timber. He is not oh. getting away. Yeah, Tim's picked up an all the venom, but in the context of uh, yeah, Cuckoo having one as well. Gosh, Cuckoo has all the venom. Just, I mean, it's really good in a uh, melee against melee matchup. Yeah. Very difficult for uh, DK to play this lane. Especially Timbersaw, you want to just right-click your opponent in mid because that draws the creep aggro and then you get reactive armor charges. Yeah. So it's actually the perfect item to have on a, a Timbersaw in this kind of 1v1. Oh, Tim's Tim the courier. Oh. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> that that would have been a total disaster for Sakata, losing the chick. Sakata is... Leaving. He's not. He doesn't need the curry. He just wants to keep it there so, so Bounty doesn't. So right it. now, Super TP. Uh, I mean, move his way back to top lane. So they are choosing to secure this lane. They feel bottom. Weaver. Weaver is farming. Okay, like well, 18 CS. His PL's now down there against that uh, Weaver. So it looks yeah. like lane swaps all over the place. They don't want the PL in the Lich lane. <laughs> yeah, he wants to make sure he gets farm. And he can do okay here versus the Weaver. Has the poor man shield. Has an Orb of Venom. Triple Orb of Venom team. There we go. All about that oof. 
Okay, so another lane swap. <laughs> Doom is walking. I'll TP him on. Move his back top, you know. <laughs> this is musical lane. Yep. Somebody needs to put the music back on, so... Double damage. You know, the mid lane, which is not moving, that's where Cuckoo is feeling good. Oh, yeah. Just runs at Cicada. Oh, he is like having the time of his life. He's going to be level 6 fairly soon, and that's when the, the DK will be in danger of dying. Oh, he scans out the rotation coming in from the bounty and the silencer. Gosh, this lane is so bad right now for him. He can't even go up to get XP. Timber is just abusing him. Demon's just like, okay, he backs off. I've got a DD rune. Let's start taking this T1 tower. And they actually. How do you defend this T1 tower? Perhaps if Lich had like could come in with an ice. No, nah, we have no help. There's no way. Yeah, he... his tower is just it's too early. To die. Because of the team, because of uh, the way Timber works as a hero, he's gonna be able to abuse and block the creeps like this. Yeah. And your creeps are hitting on the tower. Oh, that was so so bad for them. A lot of damage being done to that T1 tower. They won't fully take it down just yet. I think Timber is probably just like, let me get my level six. Go away, Theban. I love you, bro, but I also need to get my levels here. So I can kill the DK. <laughs> exactly. And then come, yeah, come back when I'm level 6, is what he's saying. Then we can get the tower, get the kill. Bounty, and we haven't really seen too much out of this roaming bounty hunter. Not that that's a problem. I think teams have gotten very good at just dealing with bounty hunter. It was such a top pick for such a long time. It's received a I lot mean, of nerfs you, you for his early You think about the lanes. It's a Weaver, Dragonite, and Doom. All three tanky here. It's not that easy for him to roam in create a pressure to kill but I mean overall mid lane is still quite impossible to kill now because of the what happened in yep. the early stages DK is very far behind now he's just getting deep wards stealing all the bounty runes he'll gradually get his levels and it just feels like track, bounties, you know bro yeah track. it actually feels like bounty's biggest impact comes with with track whereas in the past it was like level levels one through three the hero was incredibly strong but that's no longer the, the case as much he's still pretty fast now at level 1, because he got a buff and move speed. Yep. It's quite fast compared to the other Romers. Uh, bot lane, some action here in July, getting Gets uh, the Scorched Earth off and... slowed down by the Silencer and the PL, yep. forcing okay. the Scorch Earth. But Sakata is under a lot of pressure now, mid lane. He's always. Right. Like... Raven, that was close. He's gonna salve up. Yeah. Um, on the other hand, Batrider is also getting quite. Oh, he is same net move with the DK, still. Still okay for He's more than the Doom too, so yeah, this is good for that. He can always farm jungle if he feels like he needs to have some catch up. I mean like I said against Weaver, it's a pretty difficult matchup for a bad rider, so you get what you can, don't die and the other lanes are gonna do well, you know. So like TNC, they're winning the other two lanes. He just needs to make sure he doesn't die and key jungles and gets his levels. And uh, lay whenever he can. TNC are definitely winning this lane stage pretty handily for the time being. I think we'll find out the Kunkka rotating on in. Also sees the Lich, these deep boards really helping out early on. And this mid tier 1 tower with a siege creep. Looks like this is going to be the end of that tier 1 mid. Something Kunkka is swooping on in to try and prevent. But this is just Timbersaw in a nutshell. So good at doing this. Super going to get found as does Dogfights. The two man Chakram and Super's just straight up dead here. Nothing they can do about it. Tower dies to the oh, siege creep. Oh, they're going to try and kill the Kunkka as well. Yeah, it looks like they should be able to do so. Cuckoo is just so beastly here. Oh, Sakata might be in trouble too. Yeah, he's got a TP on out. Nothing to cancel that TP. Oh, they do. Oh, does he cancel that himself? Oh, or he, he cancel it. Okay. Did not catch my eye on that oh. one. Cuckoo getting fairly low. He's got a lot of reactive armor. The magic oh damage is going to be enough God. to bring him down. And the return that from was, Paparazzi. That was five heroes from IGV against the tree on yeah. TNC, but it was. What? Even tree? They lose three. They lost two? the Lich, Conker, and the DK. Yeah. No, three for three. Same. Yeah, and three for three. Vitality had five I think heroes. You're fine. I mean, you're going to lose the power. They lost yeah. the power, but. Oh my god. That was still really good for TNC. It was, I mean, Paparazzi's gonna be super happy with his rotation there. He got the big kills, he got like 700 gold out of it. Oh, did he get the, it. the timber kill? Yeah, he got uh, timber and the silencer, so. He oh, got triple kill. Oh, okay. He got all three. Yeah, triple kill for Paparazzi, okay. so. Okay, that, that's good for it, him. It was definitely good for Paparazzi, for the team as a whole. I think it's concerning. Yeah. Because while brought, that's going they on... They brought five heroes and they still lost the tower. Yeah, and look at these side lanes. Uh, they're being pressured. Sam H is getting this top tower down to half health. PL is starting to chip at bottom and is free farming. So uh, the side lanes, by bringing five heroes mid, the two side lanes suddenly TNC can farm a lot in. Oh, courier. Might go down. Lane. Solo kill from Raven onto the Lich. And yeah, we'll see if that courier does get found. It looks like Bounty was actually caught out. Drops down a ward after getting dusted there. Tim's with a beetle on himself will be going down. Not 
much I can do about that one. Good pickup for IG Vitality. Oh, the Timber. Here he comes to pressure another tower. Yep. So this is their next uh, immediate objective here. They have a deep ward down, uh, thanks to Bounty. So Timber is going to feel pretty safe here. Uh, he's actually so hard to kill now. They are going to need Doom and maybe another two heroes. Doom him and two heroes. Hit, hit, hitting him down and chasing him down. God, she's so difficult to deal with now for them. Like every time they try to kill the Timber, even if they kill the Timber, the other lanes are going to be pressured a lot. Yeah, Bomb fights. Yeah. Getting run down by the bat here. And he tried to exit back, but even that will not be enough. Any more bottom. Doom and Lich, their rotation spotted by Bounty. This is Tim's, in a nutshell, this series, just always finding, scouting these heroes. Reveal himself and poke it in July. We Weaver looking for the Sam H kill. Now Firefly, Sam H may just go down here. Flame breaks him back a little bit, needs to get to that shrine. Doesn't actually have a shrine to use, and that is going to be a dead bat rider, I can only imagine. Yep, one more right click will seal the deal. Yeah, but Timber got the top tower, so it's still still good for TNC. Whoa, Lich is level 4. I've never seen a level 4 Lich at 10 minutes in. No boots. Like, he's yeah. struggle, like, struggling a lot because he, he was moving a lot. Well, they tried to get the bounty. He took the rune and they knew he was nearby, but they missed with the dust. Yep. Just and by using Sacrifice, you normally see Liches get an easy level 6 by level, this time. Level 6 by 8, eight minutes, I think. 7-8 minutes. Yeah. Quite normal for him. But right now, Timber just got the, got the tower, so he bought his hood. Well, good luck uh, killing him now. He is so hard to kill now. He may actually find some kills just on top. Doom. Doom's coming Doom. in. Well, Bounty saw this. He knows it's coming. Can he turn it around, though? He doesn't get the hood off. He's quite tanky. Yeah, he may still. actually live here with the rotations from Sam Mage. The silence comes out as well. There is no lasso, though, and that perhaps is going to be the death of the Timbersaw. Really oh, needed that. The regen oh. is almost enough the to Doom save The Doom was almost ending. Yeah, Doom was just about to end, and unfortunately he does go down there. He was baiting, but he just couldn't quite survive his way through it. Sam Mage has got a lasso, needs to use it. Ooh, okay. the Gemini attack. Gets him despite the lasso going out. So this Weaver is actually very, very <laughs> strong now. Yeah, if, if not for the fact he had all the items he's got, it's, it's fairly formidable. Just with the Dragon Lance and those cheap, cost-effective items, that that Timber could have... If he survives there, it's just... Yeah, but how are they going to kill the Timber now? Doom is going to take a long, <laughs> long cooldown. Yeah. That's the only way they can kill him. So he's gonna try and force right now. Like he's, he's he was very systematic. One t one tier one at a time. Now he's moving bot to take the tier one because he knows how strong he is right now in the game. There's not much uh, the enemy team can do to him. Yep. If they don't have doom. And the other lanes are pretty much gonna be open because they're gonna have to. If they want to defend this tower, they need a lot of manpower here. Which I don't see IGV being able to do now. Lich is level five, no doom. Kanka is level 6. They might try, actually. They might try. I'm not sure if they can kill him. Not easy. Here comes Paparazzi. Wants to go on the support. 1437 gets jumped in. Oh boy, he's going to drop fast. Timbersaw can't do anything about that. He's just sitting behind here. He's kind of isolated and alone. PL is nearby as well. Trying to set Timber Chain away. Does not get the time he's right. <laughs> Look at Cuckoo. Can he fight his way through this one? With the PL's backup, he might just be able to do so. Okay. He's coming in from the Dragonite. PL needs to get out. Raven, though. Does not have a doppelganger and oh, unfortunately dead. is going to go down here. And you kind of mentioned it, IGV, they can defend, they're going to need numbers and that's exactly what they do. They bring their entire five-man squad and TNC perhaps just overextending in a couple different positions. You know, they yeah. made it top, failing because they didn't and have the numbers and that pushed there. Also. They didn't have a ward around the, like, the shrine area, they didn't know that the enemy and the bounty wasn't here. Like what should happen was uh, either they have a ward around the shrine area so they, they are going to understand that, oh, they're TPing in right now, we need to be very careful. Because they didn't know that they were just like still hitting the tower and they just died. Yeah. Sounds they have Doom now, hard. okay, they have Doom now. Timbersaw does get protected by the Global Silence, he's just going to run forward, I think he knows, with 20 reactive charges, he is out regening <laughs> the Doom damage. That is Whoop. one confident Timbersaw, uh, confident Timbersaw, the Chain Frost does, oh, it does start bouncing around, going between uh, two heroes, and that's uh, actually going to be uh, the death of Cuckoo. He is no longer bounce. the Chain Frost. Oh, bounce! Okay, oh bounce my God, he, he barely survived. He took, like, what, four bounces there? Yeah, that, and a Doom? That hook is saving his life. <laughs> Luckily, Cicada was not there as well. Cuckoo now going to chase forward with all the reactive charges. He is regenning up. 
Cuckoo is definitely one of those players who is Timber just a, boss. Tre a treasure to watch with how aggressive he plays. Yeah, that that move where he just uh, stood there and fought and he went in. Oh. Knows his limits, man. Some of the time. <laughs> we yeah, saw some, yeah, I know, uh, I know. We say that when he in top lane he saw them coming and still baited a doom and died, but yeah he, he pushes his limits, you know, he, he tests his limits is what I, I would say, and it, more often than not is right. Hope oh, you uh got like now. Another kill on the support. Dust on teams, but he has a haze, no problemino. Mid lane, Sakata in all sorts of trouble, but did not okay. get the last off. Oh, it's on cooldown. Oh. Gonna try and push it back with a flame break. That may be enough to get the kill. Yeah, Sakata is down. Timbersaw, Cuckoo, 1800 gold. Probably see the, the Bloodstone first, I imagine. Well, yeah. Probably. First, but after the hood. Actually, thinking about uh, their lineup, they don't have a very good catch against Weaver, yeah? Only <laughs> Global Silence. Not good. Weaver has a quite a good matchup. From the, like, the matchup that he has right now in this game is very hard for them to catch him. So he's going to be able to like run around in fights very freely once he gets the uh, the Lincolns if he chooses all BKB. Here come TNC. The X going to uh, start the fight off as Samage gets pulled back in. They can't really control this Weaver. He has been silenced up. The Shuriken bouncing through all three. I've got vision of Weaver thanks to the track. And TNC now going to try and fight underneath the Global Silence. They're chasing for the Kunker, but... Cuckoo unable to get close enough, and now it's IGV's turn. They may look to turn around, but top lane though getting yeah, pressure. This is the split push. Raven going for this boots of trouble first. I love the build. It just allows him to play alone on one side of the map while his team fight, and then if he is really needed, he can TP on. Yeah, him. they don't have very good uh, uh, wave clear this game for IG Vitality. They don't push out waves very quickly, so good read there by Raven, understanding that this game he can split push quite effectively. Mid lane Sakata gonna get caught out. Oh, yep. no, and didn't get... Split pushes effectively, and then he can also come in and fight. Chain force bouncing Ooh. around, but no one dying. In July, has got Doom. He's not going to get a chance to use it, though. <sighs> so annoying, they're like moving around, moving them around, and they push up bottom lane. And right now, they can't get a kill. You rotated like so many heroes in from IGB, but you can't get a kill, and they're tr you're all tracked out. They have vision. Oh, Timber's going to get another. He's going to get doomed. But... He is quite well. tanky yeah, and he has track move speed. They're gonna need more to kill him, I believe. Oh, he's, he's getting reactive. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, okay, no, he's trying to deny himself. Okay. Uh, okay. Wait, I thought he would have been able to live though. He yeah, had the track just, move speed. He just, just ran. ran normally. <laughs> I felt he could have. Played. Maybe he was expecting someone to TP on a shrine. Yeah. It, so he didn't want to run up. Didn't have vision of the, the yeah, shrine. Cause Cause they any hero TPs in, he's just dead. Because yeah, there was no vision. Yeah, I mean, that's that's fair. That's actually fair. But, what were you saying about him knowing his limits, Winter? Well... <laughs> <laughs> no, he's he's a, definitely a, a fun, exciting player to watch. And we've seen him do some fantastic stuff for this TNC yeah, team. I like, I like watching players like this. It's very fun. Reminds me a lot of like Sumail, where you know for the most part he's very much in control, but every now and then he'll just do some crazy uh, the, shit. The extreme one would be QO. Nah, I don't, he's not at the QO level. <laughs> PL being chased down a little bit by this Weaver. Weaver. Oh, he might. Okay, he's fine. Deep, deep, yeah. no. It's like he might be in trouble. The Weaver has a lot of damage. The Diffusal Blade completed there, and Paparazzi now going to go back to the Lincoln. It's not really felt threatened by the lasso. I mean, he's not even come close to dying really this game. Oh, bottom lane, Dragonite, gonna get caught by this gank as Cuckoo oh, okay. gets another kill. Track kill, big kill, four heroes around the neighborhood. Oh, in July, your friend just died, do not go too close. Uh, he get is away. okay. Yeah, to... It's quite fast with the drums. Oh, bottom. Still quite worrisome though, like, even though the Weaver is really strong now, but TNC is just moving around. Speed pushing with the bots on the PL and Timber. They are pushing out lanes very quickly with the Timber Barret. All these heroes push out very quickly. And they are they just need to make sure teams tracks uh tracks down the Doom. Like that's the Doom and the Weaver, those are the two important heroes that they need to know. Oh, where's this guy? Where's that guy? Oh, X mark top, Sam H get caught. So the ghost ship as well. Let's go down. Yeah. Beyond Easy kill. like 10 zero. 
dishing out the deeps, bro. He's owning right now. Shut up, yeah, Sakata. Ooh. Brand new one. Does he want? He wants to go on Raven. He needs to find the real one, and he will do so as Raven retreats. The global silence used very quickly, though, just to defend the retreat. Tim's will get caught in the process. That's okay for them. The Let's carry was yeah. carries out. A safety carry. Does now have a diffusal blade completed on the courier. Uh, this weaver is a big problem. Big, big problem right now. So they're not. What do they need to build to get kill this weaver? Drop. I don't know if there's any items really. I mean, bat. Bat, a blade. Like, bat yeah. is like. like it's, it's not gonna be easy for bat to get him. As, I think at some point you're gonna have to get a hex. So you're kind of hoping that maybe silencer gets fat. <laughs> or yeah, hex on silencer. If you, if you get trap kills, could yeah. get one. Timber maybe could get it at some point down the road. Uh, PR maybe a bit so. Yeah, they're gonna need these kind of items to lock yeah. him down because their lineup is not good against a uh, slippery hero like Weaver. The other hope is you can just ignore him, perhaps if you. <laughs> I don't see that working now. He's too strong. Yeah. I mean, someone like a PL can kind of ignore him and put illusions on him and then just burn his mana. That but he can shoot Gucci around, that's why yeah. it's so annoying. Yeah, because he is going to ignore the PL. It's... And you can't remove the bug with your doppelganger, so yep. you can't juke. He always knows which is the real PL. So yeah, that's going to be very problematic for the PL, until he gets a lot of items. Timber, right, Bloodstone see. completed with the hood right now. Uh, team fight wise, uh, Vitality still feels uh, very strong with the chain and the bolt, and plus the doom. So these are the three big spells they have. Global Silence not up yet. TNC does not feel comfortable moving out. They are hiding. They are playing very much in the dark here. Their entire jungle yeah. is black. They did see a TP. They saw the dragon at TP and Shadow Blade. Look at the vision. Op Sentry, Op Sentry, Op Sentry, Observer Sentry area covered. So it's going to be very difficult for the bounty hunter to just play around bot area. They're going to have to switch and play the other jungle. Right. I think they've recognized their mistakes from last game against the Knicks, not having that constant op sentry detection placed on the map. So making up for it here in game number two. Raven does snipe the top tier two tower. Something IGV were not intent on defending. They're looking to trade a little bit for bottom, but say trade, it could just be more towers going down as TNC pressure mid. I feel like IGV needs to start thinking about how are we going to defend these lanes. We don't want to just yeah, be trading they're, here. They're not pushing as fast. That's the thing. Yeah, PL's even going to be chipping away at the top tier 3 tower in a second. So. Oh, they might be thinking of getting a pick off here with the global. They are setting up. Yeah. If they can create some space for the PL, PL's considering rotating towards the mid lane. Drop a ward first, maybe? Oh, yeah, okay. drop the ward. If they can go uh -huh. in the Doom, that'd be fantastic. I mean, any of these targets could be big for them. Weaver for now, staying bottom. Trying to maximize his damage output. The top tier 3 tower Gosh, even taking a bit of they damage. They did not take the bot tier 2 and they lost their mid tier 2. And, I mean, the top was basically dead. 400 damage. Now they all TP out. They did 400 damage as well to the tier 3. That is very, very good for TNC. But they, they has to handle this split push much better. Problem for Paparazzi is once he was alone bottom, he didn't want to solo push the lane because someone like Bat can initiate on him and just bring him down. They need like a... They probably need like a dagger like a... They got Shadow Blade on the Doom at some point. Yeah. He's building a BKB first though. I guess they've got I, the Shadow Blade I, I, on Dragonite. He's kind of meant to be the initiator. If he can Shadow Blade uh, in with a stun. It's going to be nice to have one more. I think at some point he's going to need it on the Doom. Like well, either one of the items. Dagger or Shadow Blade. Probably Dagger. Yeah, he has Dagger queue up. A full Silver Edge is going to be DK's first item wanting to counter the Timber Souls passive. Oh, uh, it doesn't really fully counter though. If he already has the stacks, then... Correct. But I, I guess you still remove his uh, overall damage. That's, uh, I mean, that's still got quite it's good. Okay. If you yeah. go in before he's got the stacks, you can make him a lot yeah, easier. But it, I'm just saying, like, it's not reliable. What yeah. if he already like, be, like usually Timber Saw players, what they do is like, they know a big fight is coming. They go to the jungle. They just charge up the reactive armor and then come to the fight. Yeah. Well, but, it's only the the 19 second duration, so they do wear off. But yeah. Here we go, TNC just playing the vision and split push game more than anything right now. The yeah. bounty tracks people up, they find where heroes are, and then they push another lane. When IGV were bottom, they push mid, they yeah, push top. They, they're trying to get uh, Midas on the silence, so I think this is a good decision. Yeah, get the support. I well. mean, I, I know I've been not too happy about like sometimes uh, I mean, get games yesterday and the day before, sometimes I see a Midas, I'm like, ah, oh, this not a very good Midas. I remember the 
death profit. The, the, yeah, the death profit <laughs> minus the... and the profit minus, which I wasn't too sure about. But this game, I think the silencer minus is might be late, but this it's is a good for the game. Killer bottom, it looks like. Well, actually, there we go. There's the uh, the Silver Edge Winter. He and breaks him. Oh, no armor he for got you. Doom. And he gets to Meanwhile, bottom lane. I believe dead. they are killing the Kunker, but it's the Timber Sword, the bigger kill. As will likely yet suicide? be enough Can damage. You? Oh no, no, still doomed. Still Can't doomed. Suicide. But they got a track kill on oh, Lich. Oh, Lich TP's out. They got a track kill bottom, so it's still yes. quite good for them. Two hero track kill, but Paparazzi is on T Burns oh, tail. A lot of damage there. Oh, he's, not he's, he's not diving. Yeah, he does does not have the Lincolns yet, so he is afraid of the Batrider, I imagine. Didn't oh they didn't use Lasso, yeah, that's that's actually uh why. I'm like, why is he scared? I thought the bat was bottom. Did he la oh he didn't lasso the Kunka, that's why. It does reveal the fact there was an observer over there, so he's been able to find and mm. snipe that one. That was actually not too bad for TNC. They traded what what was it, a Doom? A Doom on the Timber. Tim timber he died, him, he yeah. respawned quickly and they got a track kill on the Kunka with two heroes around. That was actually quite okay for them. In the grand scheme of things, because Doom is a very long cooldown spell. So TNC, they were able to chip the top another 400 damage on a tier three at top lane. Oh yeah, so that was quite good that. for them. So Vitality, they have to try and catch the PL at some point. They can't let him just split push. Yeah. Feels repeat. like the PL is the bigger problem than the the Timber at this point. Yeah, Timber already done his job. Like he was the early distraction, you know. <laughs> he forced everyone to go on him, like, taking all the towers, and then the PL was farming all the way. Yeah. Got his early boots of travel. That's, like, a very greedy build on PL. It's like getting a Midas, you know. You get that bot's first PL, you're not gonna help your team, you're just split farming, pressuring the lanes. He so even wants his Midas, he's... Midas is up farm. soon, right? It should be yeah, up, yeah. 1900. Get them last hits. Oh, sad times. IGV has to try and... Um, try to find a way to fight now. Get the, the lanes Lincolns. out, push the lanes out. You see, he already has it, right? Yeah, he yeah. just picked it up. Yeah, they should push the lanes out, try to push the lanes out and fight. They are the ones that are more desperate in getting something started now. They can't just let the game, you know, right now the game is like, oh, the lanes push over, Raven tries to hit a chip your tower a bit and they back off. Rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. That's not good for IG, right? They have to try and take a fight. Yeah, IG are kind of grouped here. They, it looked like they want to smoke, but then they're like, wait a second. Oh, double smoke. Top lane is pushing out. So Who has the vision? Who has the vision? Damage, oh, he pops. He's going to go in on the Doom. Oh, Doom BKBs, the Global Sans is they have. They got the physical damage. Raven's trying to bring him down, but cannot do so. He needs to be careful. Oh, Doom. Doom. Yeah. That's not the way TNC wanted to start that fight. The Doom very quick with his BKB. The follow-up pickoff is going to be on the Timbersaw. Can they bring him down? Have they got the damage? May look to chain himself to the north, but he's being focused down. Oh Paparazzi gosh. just tearing them apart. Great reactions for, from in July there. He was able to pop that BKB. Otherwise, I think he probably would have been dead after that. If he got didn't get the BKB off. Tamed. Goes in, there's no, no, no sentry. sentry. Oh, no, holy shit, no sentry. Oh, he throws a torrent. Uh, oh, that's close. <laughs> oh, oh, my oh, god, that would be such a big disaster for IGB. Gets, no sentry. Casually gets the ages. Yeah. That would have been. Yeah. So, big, big turn of events here from IGB. Great play by them. Uh, I think. Mainly I, uh, in July, being able to react to pop that BKB. Well, I mean, once he BKBs and you've committed the lasso, yeah, at that global. point, like, and you don't kill him, you're yeah. basically getting out. And they didn't, they didn't get out in time as well. They got the PR got to him, so that fight was yeah. Sure I, I over. Think Raven in the split second decided, oh, let's try and kill him through the BKB, but then they he, realized they couldn't. <laughs> yeah, realized he couldn't. If he didn't realize, if he'd come to that realization before he tried. Would have been he would have at least been able to escape. Yeah. I think they're gonna lose one or two one, heroes one or there, two. but the supports would probably die, but yeah. at least they, the PL can still keep pushing the lane. Exactly. The PL just was the one who needed to just not commit there, but once he commits he put himself in a bad spot. Teams he actually smoke right back up. They yeah, wanna no, fight while no Doom, Doom is down. They are doing this without global though, that is to me a small concern, but not sure about this move though, it's quite risky. They have Aegis. They need to get some, some vision yeah, down. This is quite risky. It doesn't look like it's gonna pan out too much. Dude. Oh, they see them now. This is dangerous. They see them now. They're under vision. This is bad. Maybe they can just go charge again. He's got Aegis. Could find Raven here. Throws out the Beatles. The four staff will get him away as IGV will not 
funny and kills so it. Like, now the doom, very dangerous. Now the Doom has dagger BKB. Okay, this is gonna be a very strong timing for Vitality. They have everything they need for for the fights. Weaver is building into illusion clearing items. He has the male storm now. Okay, IGV is in a very, very good position in the game now. They just need to make sure lanes are pushed out so that whatever they do, whatever they, whichever fight they, they try to take, Raven's not going to be able to speed push the top tower. The top tier 3 is less than half HP. It's, yeah. They do not want the PL to be on top of that tower. That's that's where TNC really were excelling, and that's where I feel th that was two smokes kind of in a row from TNC where they wanted to force a fight. It just hasn't been the game plan that's worked for them. When they've gone into IGV for these team fights, is where IGV has come out on top. So another BKB done. Uh, IGV is reaching the the point where they have this five man death ball. If they can actually death ball down one lane, and it will be incredibly difficult for TNC to hold hold them off. So right now TNC's main priority and main concern is to keep all the lanes out, so that the five man push can't arrive yep. in the door, in their front door. They need to buy as much time as they can. Seems Timber, unlikely Timber, to happen. Timber is going to need like a lot of items now. He's going to be considering maybe X or like getting a Lincoln's maybe. He's going to gonna complete the shivers now. We'll see where he goes next. Yeah, the Lincoln seems like an item they want to get at least one of. Sam H, let's be careful. Oh, he's been X. Oh, he's probably be dead. I mean, kind of oh. oh, they missed oh. the timing. He missed the timing. Perfect. I mean, Chain Sam has got the perfect timing. He will get found, may be able to buy some time with the Firefly and Blink Dagger. Oh, Raven is the bigger target. He oh, he, he managed to juke them with the illusion. <laughs> good play, good oh. play. Good play. Oh, now he's going to go away with the real one. DK, who's got oh. another doppelganger, though. He gets broken, but he gets out of there to the south. No TP for 10 seconds. He's, but he's fine now. That's Sam still H alive, Sam Sam H! Uh, okay, he's, what happened he, there? He, 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 they, it's only two supports. They can't kill him. He needed... They needed more to actually kill the bat. Problem is, bat does not have a TP. Okay, so they're just gonna try and take him on alone now. <laughs> he's got another TP. No, his TP got cancelled. His TP got cancelled just now by changes. Yeah, yeah, I saw that one, but uh, we'll see where it goes next. He's just gonna firefly on out. Sam H. What a great escape from him. Too much going. I mean, a great escape from both Sam H and and Raven at the same time. That was incredible. IGV have got to be so tilted by that play. That is. Oh, that's the last thing you, oh they want to have. I mean, happen. they were they were not even just clawing their way out in the game. They'd actually kind of gained some kind of a lead and were looking very composed. They were on the same page. They were winning fights, and then suddenly that happens. You're yeah. just gonna be like, they're what not, the hell? They're man? not very good at dealing with speed push, as I see right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's an understatement, I think. And what looking at the there? bands as well, I think they probably understood. Remember the first two bands this game? Yeah. <laughs> Dinker Naga. Now those bands make a lot more sense. Annoying heroes that, are but they are not do, doing the right things too. Sometimes, like their movements and whoever's pushing, like their calls in terms of like they're not dealing with the split push well. The crazy thing is, everyone on TNC will split push. Like we saw the bat doing a bottom bounty hunter is doing it top now. Whoever whoever's there in position, uh, will split push. bounty is like whatever. <laughs> yeah, you know, he'll get some momentum or push out the wave. Oh, so. Tiven. Like he may go down. They did lose the Aegis here. Oh, here comes the split push. Yep, PL actually TP's in top. He says, thanks, Bounty, bro. Job's done. I'll take over from here. And the TP has been forced. PL Illusions onto the tower will not do all too much damage. As Raven has to be careful. He did TP up here, so he is somewhat trapped in a sense. It does look like IGV are not going to find him or go looking for him. Too many places to hide, perhaps. I think they're gonna need like uh, some lane, maybe Tinker Wards for this PL here at top. I think this, the, the, you know, the Tinker Ward here, I think this would be. Yeah. This would be, be good for them. They have These to... trees have just been all cut down for him. Oh, he's he going to rat. <laughs> Still trying to rat. That Kunker could have almost got in range for a Torrent or an X. Bottom lane, meanwhile. Okay, oh another gosh. rat. Sees the TPs, quickly blinks out of there. Okay, they have to get a gem. I think they need a gem. Gem, tink. I mean, I think that right there. You say that you mentioned the tinker wards. Yeah, it's, it's tinker ward that. plus gem. And yeah, Doom has to sit and try and cam one lane. It's not that easy to do because well, this, is, this is where Doom I feel like really does need a shadow blade as well. You mentioned it, and I'm I'm definitely all aboard that. He's. Uh, he really chose to go dagger though. I think he probably wouldn't. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can, but you in general you. 
choose yeah. one most of the time. That's right. Mid lane, they have managed to smoke up. They should be able to get the initiation here. Timbersaw gets right, doomed dead. up. They have to run. Not Make sure he is. The They're not saving him. Just push out the other lanes. Still quite a big cooldown. We'll see whether or not they can get any damage off that. Even Deben, you uh, mentioned he plays these five positions with some wave push. The silencer being maybe not the best, but at least has some with the arcane curse. He's top. PL's bottom, they want to push out these lanes. Time to buy some like boots to travel they should and stuff try and, here. Maybe they should try and cut the wave now though. This this high ground might be in danger of getting pushed. Okay. Oh, they're going to defend. They understand that. Yeah. They have to defend this. Yeah. They see the weaver's not there as well. They may actually look to fight, potentially. Um. Can they initiate in Tim's? Oh, he walks into a sentry ward. He gets jumped on the global silence, comes out, but he's going to die to the right click damage. PL's on top of them, but Weaver oh, this is not good for them. coming in for this one, the X into Ghost Ship. Can the PL get away from this one? Does not look like he gets stunned up, and he's going to get focused down. TNC crumbling to the five man of IGV, and you mentioned the high ground might have been in trouble before. Well, it definitely is now, with PL and Bounty both dead with that buyback. Uh, that, that was a very risky move, even though Weaver was not there, but they only had four heroes. So in the end, going out of their base was a very bad move. I felt confident knowing there was no doom. They probably felt like okay. IGV were incredibly You were so tanky 20 minutes ago, but... <laughs> At Silver Edge, he doesn't get that reactive armor. And we're going to see another pick off. That's a long that's, time. That's probably like... Can dead. they get... Oh no, they, they can't get two lanes, yeah. but... They're going to get they? more kills. Sam H, X. No, they're not going to go for the kill. This is bad enough talker for them. Yeah. It's really bad for TNC, but IGV have finally dealt with the speed push. Got themselves a lane of wrecks. Uh, I mean, it was also partly TNC making some uh, very risky moves there, trying to get too much done. Sometimes it happens, you know. Paparazzi still untouched this game. 12 0 and 7 now completes yeah, a Mion. Viewer is just a boss. Oh, and Roche just respawned. Very good timing on the Roche. Oh, was that a quick respawn? Yep. Uh, I'm not sure how quick it was, but I saw the. TNC can't afford to give this up though, they have to that way. but how can they contest, there's no Doom global. Doom is back up in 10 seconds, there'll yeah. be a small window without the Doom, they're trying to go in, the Batrider went uh, for the blink jump, didn't get it, and Roche is already down. Aegis and Cheese picked up by Paparazzi, now the chase is on. Oh, doesn't get the DK stun onto Raven, guess is wrong. Sam H considering a lasso, I'm not sure that's going to be the play, Timbersaw TP's into this one, instantly gets torrented, Ghost Ship! He may just get focused down. The chain frost in the back lines catching oh. between Tim's and 1437. Timber is dead. In July, looking for the doom. Didn't get it out. Time onto Raven. One for one. Track kill. Uh, but losing a Timber. Yeah, that does not seem worth it. And losing, more importantly, the Aegis and Cheese as Weaver are going to chase down this silence and no way out for Thieben. 1437 goes down and uh oh. Another kill. One by one, they all fall. PL just trying to do some creep skipping. No, that's necessarily essential since there are tier 2 towers on the side lanes. They could go for tier 4s here? Not sure. It does look like oh, they want to end the game. I don't think... Uh, yeah, maybe can they, they can. We'll, we'll find out. They'll force some buybacks. Yeah, it feels like they know PL actually doesn't have TP. He just TP top. PL's going for the split push. PL cannot defend. They get one tier 4 though. I think uh, they decide that enough is enough. Lassoed on back. PL's trying to go for the split push up top. Doing some damage to the tier 3 tower. Does get the tier 3 tower now. Sam Age will die for this one. ITV need to make a decision. Do we defend? What do we do? Cicada oh, he's trying to cancel his TP. PL gets one. TPs. Dogfights, his being cancelled it looks like, while ITV do get back to defend. Paparazzi is up there. Raven, he juked with the illusion. <laughs> he chased the wrong one. Raven, still messing with them. He's going back bottom. He's being but so pesky. But they did not get any racks, though. No, he did not. At the same time, yeah, Night, well, IGV also did not. I mean, they got a range racks, but that, that was not the, the big one to take. They also did not kill dogfights. He was left behind and somehow is still alive. He's going to be cut off by the Timbersaw here. Oh. Global Silence comes out. It's the Doom. He can't actually use his ultimate. He got global after his BKB. He may actually go He's down dead. here, and yeah, he will not get a chance to pop the Doom. Doesn't wow. buy back. What a huge turn of events here. Raven, what a great ballsy play from him. Kunkka actually going to buy back here, concerned about the racks being protected or not. But Doom does not have buyback. What a crazy situation. Weaver still has Aegis. They should be able to hold. He has Aegis plus buyback. Yep. Should be able to hold here. TNC want to force it. PL actually TP's bottom, so how much of a push this is, whereas they may just be trying to set for some split push. 
Oh. Who doesn't get the timber chain away? Will get pulled back in by the X. Well, Lane Raven is yep. getting the Rex. It's a distraction. Well, Timber does go down. That's a pretty heavy loss here. Raven will now see the TPs come in. Just a tier 3 tower, but it he's come clo close to taking two melee Rexes. That's the second one he's come down to about half <laughs> I think health. eventually the Lich is going to stay at the base and just frost armor the Rex. Which is like, I want to get my level 25 talent. <laughs> somebody, <laughs> somebody pull me a Midas and some tombs. I want that level 25. That's actually very, very annoying if he gets there. But I don't think he will. I don't think he will. Uh, he's if it's quite far away. <laughs> but a man can dream, you know? Yeah. Man can dream. It's one of those talents that just sounds like amazing for defending your building. Dude, but if you're defending buildings, you're never level 25 as a late. 35 armor, that's crazy. But it's only on building. It's it's such a, in my mind, it, it's such a weird, if dumb, it's a dumb talent. Because if you're defending buildings, it means you're losing. No, but then if you're, let's think think about the other talents, or the other 25. If you're winning, the other 25 talent makes a lot of sense. The Scardy. Yes, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's very rarely will I feel you, you be, you'll be in a position to get the 35 armor because you're not going to get level 25 as a Lich if you're defending. Ah, uh, if, if you're losing. Midas. Maybe. But if you're winning, like you say, you can get that level 25. And you, you know, you, you're, you're a lich, you want to have some fun. <laughs> I don't think I've, I've seen a level 25 lich before, except in a, a few pubs. So, the last few sequence of events definitely favoring TNC. Good split. Didn't get a Rex, but they were able to get two towers. Yeah, they're only down one lane of Rex. Still a very winnable game for them. Yale's gonna head towards top with a completed Scotty, so more stats. Getting fairly strong at this point in time. I feel like this is where he may want to pick up like that that late game bottle. Try and find some. Oh, bot rooms. lane! They're gonna force this. Yeah, they're gonna force the fight here. Weaver gonna TP in with the boots of travel. Global silence is there. Weaver oh, needs he to be missed. a little bit careful. Didn't get the uh, initiation on the Kunker, and Kunker looks like he will pay for this with his life. Does have the Coco's run? This is helping keep him alive. Forced out the way. Dog fights though. Too much damage to fight his way through. Cicada. Needs to be a little bit careful on the front lines. The Doom not gonna come out immediately. Gets they cancel onto it as he's forced to BKB. Paparazzi will go down just once, and Injulai is still unable to throw the Doom out with the BKB wearing off. He's got to be a little bit careful. Trying to focus the Rax is IGV. Doom goes in, gets the ultimate, finds the PL. This is going to make this fight a whole lot easier. And Sakata will just back. TP on out. They just need and to back now. Chase. What can they get in return? Injulai will not blink on out. They may lose multiple heroes here. The PL's Doom going to wear off soon. Super is going down as well. A couple of track kills, but they did get the melee Rax, so... Small win for IGV. Objective, you know? Yeah. Ob objective gaming. In that in that context, I think you've got to be feeling okay about that. Yeah. And they lost uh, two supports. Aegis was going to expire anyway, so that was fine for them. Yep. Well. Let's see where they go next. Paparazzi getting close to being six slotted. And sell his treads and upgrade. It's, it's still a dragon lens, still has a bit of room to grow. Butterfly perhaps oh, that's, against that's, the PL. That's still uh, he can get a uh, moonshot and a, an extra item. Maybe upgrade the get a pipe, but probably just swap it out for a butterfly. Butterfly and then one more. Mm. See what that could be. Butterfly maybe MKB if he needs to get. Yeah, does he the, need to get an MKB? No. Look like it. Raven's got an axe queued up as his. Any evasion? No. Exactly. Yeah. Then probably not. Maybe. Uh, maybe late game I think you can get like the blood torn. Blood torn yeah, late, blood late game is quite strong for this hero. They immediately look to push out the lane, so that Doom is on cooldown. They can even take a fight. They really need to find some kind of good Batrider initiation for that to be possible. And right now, Bat is like, I need some alone time. My BKB is almost up. Wants to finish it off. And Paparazzi does have the MKB queued up, interestingly enough. There is not mm. any... Uh, Am I seeing invasion. something wrong? Is there there's a Solar Crest. Oh, there's a Solar... Okay. So that's, okay, that uh, makes sense. 20%, but... That makes sense. Still good. And it's just, I mean, it's a good damage item even without the evasion piercing capabilities. At least a decent one. So Roshan is going to be up. Oh, and PLX, PL minutes. has an evasion talent, Winter. I did not. That's something oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right. I am not a PRP player. did not think about that. <laughs> I, I was just about to say, I was like, there's 20%. I wonder if, they, if there is any. Ooh, Global Sounds, they trying oh, to Oh, they go. missed the lasso. Ooh. 
Oh, good. Got broken by the Lincolns. He needed to, to pop that first. I think he they miscom miscommunicated. He was kind of, I think, expecting the BH to use his track yeah. first. And then he just clicked. He like, trust him, you know? I just trust that you get your track off. Then I'm just clicking the last one. This is force he had to get to force forward to get there in time. Yeah. That's, and they use global. They oh, lose dear. Towers up top. They use global. This is like two, maybe high ground? Boots of Travel is available on the Weaver, so he's gonna defend here. The four is, the rest of the team is gonna push top. Cuckoo oh. charges forward. Oh, they have to hurry. What's the lady? Or even like creep skip top or something if you're TNC. Or is there gonna be the plan here? Raven. It's a beetle on top of himself. The top lane push is coming. They're gonna actually TP back. IGV say, we got two towers out of that. Let's wait, Roche. You know, let's not rush yeah. things too safe much. Safe play, safe play. They're up multiple lanes of racks or racks and a half um they will have a long time to wait for the rotary storm and they got two towers so they do set themselves up um to kind of starve out tnc a bit more and deal with that top lane a bit better gb definitely showing some composure here in game number two after losing game one yep much better team play and like overall decision making after the early game. Yeah, well, a couple moments where the split push was very annoying, but they've reacted while Tim's, uh oh, he's being spotted by the observer, what I want to say, but now he gets away. The gem is on the Doom, so they do see him. Tim's, okay, there we go. Yeah, he's the. Caught no, by the X. No buyback. But the lanes are pushing, so. Uh, there's a. Oh, they see Tim's. There's them. creeps here. This is not good. Oh, that is not good. They're going to just go straight into the high ground. They're going to start. Doing some good damage on this one. There is a glyph available. They're going to have to likely pop that. They need to push him out of the base so they can get that back to protection back into play. Does look like that is going to be the case. The mid creep wave is pushing again though, so some good damage dealt to the T3 tower. It's TNC. Struggle to defend Salza with a maelstrom. Even <laughs> like I need a. I, I, <laughs> it's it's such a classic theme in like five position with like farm pushing out lanes. This is a role he loves to play. They are waiting for Roche, and unfortunately for IGV, that was a smoke design to get a pick and set up Roche, but Roche is gonna still. They did take his time. They did like what a thousand damage to the tower. Yeah, definitely, it's pretty definitely good. worth it. Fishing for a pick, not gonna find it. It's just the yellow loot to the mid lane, the real one, not to the side. Yeah, we've got. Does have that MKB now, and level 25 gets that extra Shikuchi movement speed. EK gonna come back in and look to finish off the tower. In goes the Timbersaw. They're actually gonna try and engage off of this one. The Global Silence on the Dragon Knight. Can they actually burst him down? In July, Doom! What uh, did he, he find? The I think he doomed an illusion. The illusion instantly disappeared. He guessed wrong, and unfortunately for him, that could spell disaster. The Timbersaw doing some big damage. Only now comes in the ghost ship, but they do kill Timber. Focusing the racks is Cicada Objective Gaming, he says. I don't care about what happens in this fight as long as we kill these buildings. And while TNC kind of hold their own in the actual fight, they didn't kill the DK in time to stop him taking the racks. Great play coming out from the DK. He's just gonna TP on out too. He got, he got the courier on the way. Gets the courier, TP's out in front of them. I love and the decision making there from Cicada. Two supports down. On me. Yep. It was, I mean, that's the thing, you're like, oh, track kills, they got some supports, there, but... They the had to buy back the timber. Yeah. This is where it feels very desperate for TNC. Time to make some all-in plays. You're not quite at Mega Creeps, just uh, that one range rex is they standing. probably can only get the Roshan, I think. Roshan would be, would be their best bet here. They don't even have the best Roshan lineup, though. This will be a very slow one. They have a solo crest. Mm. I mean, if they don't get the Rosh, IGV is going to get it. One way or the other, when they have all five heroes on the map. Sam H being chased down by paparazzi, he's gonna be. Yeah, they the have to get the rush. That's n I, I think this is mandatory right now. Okay. If they don't get the rush, they just lose the game. Yeah, with the solar crest and Theban's damage output adding to this one, it does look like this will be possible. It does look like IGV are not considering this because they are drawing lines one from all. They're just saying we don't care because we're gonna. Go push and take that last range racks if we need to. You're gonna die for the last range racks. Sure. <laughs> Seems like a plan. Weaver got a BKB, so that's gonna be his. I mean, he could just BKB and hit it. It's yeah. Why not? 
Actually, why not? Well, they'll take the shrines. That's gonna be the first little pickup. But yeah, BKB hit it if he wants. It is a 10 second BKB, so TNC are gonna be on high ground defense duty. I think inevitably they're gonna go be up against Mega Creeps. I just oh, don't see any way. Oh, they have on Timbers. So... Here goes Paparazzi. It's the BKB. Oh, they gets lasso. He BKBs after the Lincolns is broken. Can't time lapse just yet. He's going to focus it down, and that will be Mega Creeps. Can Paparazzi survive though? Time lapse on out. They get the Megas, and he survives the Chain Cross. Now going to go in. This Timbersaw does not have buyback. Yes, Aegis. Okay, he's got the Aegis. You're right. He will have that second life coming back in just a second. Tim's getting fairly low here. The Dragon Knight in the front line is doing some serious damage right now. He's got so many items as this game has progressed. He's managed to scale incredibly well. In July, BKB helping keep him alive against Raven's PL and TNC. Base in tatters have to find a way to win this fight convincingly and push back. Raven is doing all he can, only finding supports for now. He's going to get X back in, brought down, no oh, buyback damage. available. Oh. This DK, Takada, it is again the Dragon Knight. He'll burn down in the Firefly, but the game has been won. What a good comeback from IGV. I say comeback in the sense they lost game one. This was a game where 